When you think cruise ship, you probably think vacation, romance, and all sorts of summer fun under the sun. Or maybe you just think of the love boat. Either way, this video is about none of that. An hour from now, I'll be surrounded by semen. Sperm whales and semen. Ooh, a swallow. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In this installment, we're counting down the five strangest, most fascinating facts we could find about cruise ships. Fair warning, if you have no desire to tarnish those pleasant images we just spoke of, hit the back button on your browser and cruise on along. Take it to see Mr. Murdoch. Let's stretch her legs. Yes, sir. Number five, cruise ships are popular targets for pirates. I'm sorry. I didn't know pirates were still a real thing. That's right, folks. Captain Phillips ain't the only one who's got to be on the lookout for pirates, especially around the Somali coast. Look at me, sure. Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. On board the average cruise ship are thousands of tourists. And what does that mean? Tourists carry lots of cash. For all you married or engaged lovebirds out there, they're probably going to start with that precious diamond around your ring finger. And that fancy device with numbers around your wrist should reel in a few pennies. You rich man! Me? No, I'm uh... Rich man! My men take this off of you! Not to worry though. It's precisely for this reason that most cruise ships have well-equipped armories, high-pressure hoses, and sonic weapons that can permanently damage uninvited parties outside the ship. Yes, apparently sonic weapons are a thing. <laughs> Number four. Cruise ships put up with people's crap. Literally. When it comes to the problem of pollution, cruise ships contribute significantly on multiple fronts. In fact, some release the same amount of sulfur dioxide that over 100 million cars can produce from just one day of operation. If that doesn't make you gag, get a load of this. On a standard week-long cruise, a single ship produces an average of between 150,000 and 200,000 gallons of sewage. That is one big pile of shit. So how do they deal with all this crap? The word dump comes to mind, in that they literally dump all that dump straight into the waters they so innocently tread upon. Also, yes, this is all perfectly legal, provided that the ships are a certain distance away from the shore. Lois, it is called the poop deck. That is why I pooped there. You're disgusting. And you're misleading. Number three, many cruises reportedly use unethical employment practices. Whoa, a multi-billion dollar industry is treating their employees poorly? Did not see that coming. So what is it, unfair wages, little to no benefits, no break times? Nope, apparently it's far worse than any of those. For many ships, crew members have been recruited from third world countries and may have paid as much as $1,500 for a mere interview. Some even charge an additional $1,000 to $2,000 for airfare and uniforms. In essence, prospective workers actually owe money to the cruise lines and their recruiters before they're even guaranteed a job. As bad as that sounds, it gets even worse, as new hires are often met with unrealistic workloads and deducted wages for unmet quotas. You thought your job sucked. If we don't consider him a human, we just consider it an act, I think we're in the clear. Like the Flying Willendas, you know, a lot of those guys died, but they never sued anybody. Number two, cruise ships have their own morgues. Cruise vacations are not always for spring breakers and honeymooners. Spring break! Woo! Up here, Michael. Up here. Typically, the average guest is more likely to be a grandparent than a young bachelor or bachelorette, with longer trips said to have more elderly passengers. In fact, several studies have even indicated that retiring on a cruise ship can be more cost-effective than retiring in a home or community. That said, when you're carrying that many wise and aged souls aboard a vessel, sadly, the inevitable happens, necessitating onboard morgues. While many liners try to keep the number of deaths that occur on their cruises under wraps, most ship morgues will typically have the capacity to hold between one and three bodies. Suddenly, haunted ships like the Queen Mary are beginning to make sense now, aren't they? Number one. Cruise ship disappearances are frighteningly common. The fall alone would kill you. And you thought that last entry was creepy. Evidently, the number of missing people last seen or heard from aboard a cruise ship is so high that they've come to be accepted as a regular occurrence. While many of these cases have been resolved, the majority of these vanishings remain an eerie mystery. With close to 200 disappearances recorded since 2000, this statistically translates to at least one missing passenger per month. What's even more unfortunate is that since many cruises are hardly regulated, full investigations from their end are mostly discretionary. You son of a bitch! If I had a gun on a boat, I'd shoot you! With all that said, maybe you just want to stick to theme parks for your next family vacation. You'd probably have a better chance at finding someone if they got lost. Still no word on the disappearance of Lois Griffin, housewife and mother from Quahog who vanished from a cruise ship six days ago. Well, folks, that's the news, and I am out of here! So what do you guys think? Are we giving cruise ships a bad name here? For more breezy top 10s and sonic weapon top 5s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Yeah, 
Bye! Bye! Bye!